carry now fight don't begin the happen for here. We'll be saying they will fight themselves for here. DSS, no one grief, please yourself, no one grief. They won't shoot. They don't do the thing now. They don't do the to shoot anybody at the DSS now. So I did, they show different power for the, for the court now. They won't carry, they may feel it, but they no one allowed. <laughs> And that way they got none. Now they say the DSL no one made them carry the maybe they go prison now and prison won't carry the maybe they are dead the local head, don't they? The serious fight they have now so they move for front. Uh, fire it on top in brother, you know, they necessary at all. We still stay here now. And the brother of him, they talk now. It is unfortunate. This is the giant of Africa. It is unfortunate that this is happening in Nigeria, a democratic nation, a nation that is blessed with people with integrity. I remember very well when I was in secondary school, the Nadeko period. I knew how the current president fought the military through Nadeko. He fought to Tandil. He fought the military, telling the military to obey the rules and regulations of the law, the constitutional law. Here we are today. Three courts have said release him on bail. He's not running away for God's sake. He has served this nation for nine years. Where is he going to go to? All his life is in Nigeria here. And you can imagine a situation where two military, federal government military apparatus are fighting themselves. Manhandled, manhandling the commander of the prison commission. It is a disgrace to this nation. It is a complete disgrace. A complete disgrace. How else are we going to how, how else are we going to describe this? How are we going to describe what is happening? What kind of what kind of look I, 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 I grew up in this nation. I was born here. This is my nation. This is Nigeria is my country. I'm not going anywhere. I have the right to lead in this country. What is the fate of the poor man if this is happening today? For somebody that served a nation for nine good years, what is the fate of the poor man in this country? Let me ask, why do you think the DSS is insisting? I don't know, they should ask them questions. They should ask them. They, ask them. They, have, they have authority from above, giving them the instructions that they should follow rules and law. My problem is if you have anything against the man, come to court. Bring them to court. Let the man defend himself. You are, you are putting him under incarceration for almost two months. He's looking frail. My brother is sick. I'm saying it to the whole world. My brother is sick. He's sick. Emotionally, he has been tortured. Physically, he has been tortured. Let them release him. He needs to be released so that he can take care of his health. He has families. He has people that depended on him. 
let us let us let us do things where we should do. You have mentioned my name before. So let us work as a country. We are in a democratic society.